Okay, to finish up our work on these polynomials, we're going to show you how to divide polynomials. And we set it up very much like a uh, long division that we'd do with regular numbers. So let's show you how we do this. So example. All right. Divide. Okay. Let's have a look here. So let's say we have 12x cubed plus 11x squared plus 5x subtract 8 uh, by 3x plus 2. Right now another way that we could write this of course is uh, 12x cubed plus 11x squared plus 5x minus 8 is being divided by 3x plus 2. Now the way we set it up is like a, uh, a regular long division. So let's do this. And here's our uh, term we're dividing by. And now we put in each of these terms. Now make sure that all the exponents show. So if x, an x exponent is not there, then put a 0 uh, times that x exponent. I'll show you an example of that in a moment. All right, now what we do is we say to ourselves, all right, we want to get rid of this 12x cubed. So what do I multiply 3x by to get 12x cubed? Well, it would be 4x squared. And when I do that, I'll get a 12x cubed plus a 8x squared. So I do 3x, uh, 3x by 4x squared, give me 12x cubed. And 2 by 4x squared gives me 8x squared. Put a line under it. And now subtract. I'll get a 0 here, which is our objective. And I get 11x squared minus 8x squared is 3x squared. We now bring this guy down. Like so. And we say, what do I multiply 3x by to get a 3x squared? Well, of course, it's a x. And so let's do that. We get 3x squared, which of course is what we're looking to get, plus 2 times x is 2x. And again, we now subtract, put a line under it, 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. So I get 5x minus 2x, which of course is 3x. And now we bring down the negative 8. And we say, what do we multiply 3x by to get 3x? Well, it's 1. Okay, so I end up with 3x, um, and 2 times 1 is 2, and again we now subtract, and I get 0 here, 3x minus 3x, and I get negative 8, subtract 2 is negative 10. Now it's very important to remember how to write this. This now therefore is going to be equal to 4x squared plus x plus 1, and this is our remainder, like we normally had with um, uh, numbers. And this would be a remainder of 10 of these terms dividing into 10. And so this would be my result. All right, let's do another example. So let's call that example 1. Let's do example 2. Suppose we want to divide 8x to the 4 plus 12x squared plus 7x minus 18. And we want to divide that by x squared plus 2. Now we've got a couple of complications here. One is that we don't have an x term here and up here we don't have an x cubed term. So this is what we do. We do the regular division, but remember we're talking about place value here like we do with numbers. So we'll be dividing by x squared plus 0x plus 2. And up here we're dividing this into x to the 4 plus 0x cubed plus 12x squared plus 7x subtract 18. Right, now we proceed as we did before. We say, what do we multiply um, x squared by to get 8x to the 4? What will be 8x cubed? All right, and so we end up, uh, sorry, 8x um, squared. 
Okay, so we're going to have x squared by 8x squared is 8x to the 4. All right, and then we do 0 by uh, 0x by 8x squared, of course, is uh, 0x cubed. And then we get 2 by 8x squared is going to give us uh, 16x squared. Put a line under it, and we're going to subtract. 8x to the 4 minus 8x to the 4 is 0. 0 minus 0 is still 0. And now we have 12x squared minus 16x squared is negative 4x squared. We now say, what do we multiply x squared by to get negative 4x squared? What will be negative 4? So we get negative 4x squared. We need to bring down the 7x. Okay. And uh, it'll be uh, 0 by 4, which will be um, 0 x and finally uh, subtract uh, 8. So in this case we need to bring this one down as well so we can do the full calculation. Alright, put a line under it and we need now subtract. Negative 4x squared minus minus 4x squared is negative 4x squared plus 4x squared which is 0. 7 minus 7x minus 0x is 7x. Negative 18 plus 8 is negative 10. Now we can't multiply x squared by anything to get a 7x, so this will be our result. So our 8x to the 4 plus 12x squared plus 7x subtract 18 divided by x squared plus 2 is going to be x, 8x squared minus 4 plus a remainder of 7x minus 10 of uh, the x squared plus 2. And that will be our result. So very importantly here, don't forget to put in the place values if you don't have an exponent of x in the problem.